another edition of Tribulation Ready Survival. I'm Michael and today I'm going to show you what I would suggest to put in a survival fishing kit. This will fit in your go bag, it'll fit in the trunk of your car, it'll fit in your glove box and if you get into an emergency situation where you're at a place where you could get some fish and that's what you're going to have to survive on for a while, this fishing gear will be what you need to get yourself some food. So let's go take a look. Okay, welcome to the workbench. And so let's let's show you uh, some example, an example of what I think would work great uh, as an emergency uh, source of getting food. Um, <clears throat> you know me, I'm a fisherman. Uh, I fish a lot. And I have done a review on this. You may want to go back a year or so ago and check out my Eagle Claw Packet review. This has earned its place. It's a collapsible fishing pole. I will let you go back and look at the review on that. But it also came with a reel. It's a sem you can assemble it and I keep it in a sock to keep it nice and protected and it doesn't take much to get it out. Ready to go. And uh, there we go. ready to go. I've got some good line on here, some all-purpose line that I can probably pull in a something decent to eat with. So this is the Eagle Claw packet and it literally goes together this way. I've got some all-purpose line on here, so I think I've got like six or eight pound on here. I'll pretty much catch whatever I want to around here to get me something to eat. Now, this I've done the review on. You can go back and look at the video, but this isn't all. This isn't all that you need. You need some way to get fish, and you may or may not have access to live bait. So, I have a package of multicolored small jigs here that I can use to put on here. Uh, I use jigs just like this uh, regularly when I go fishing for panfish, crappie, and bluegill, and uh, sunfish, and all kinds of things. So they're, uh, they're cle biblically clean, and you can actually catch fish without having live bait on here. But uh, a lot of times <clears throat> when I go fishing uh, in the winter, I will tip these with a uh, wax worm, which is moth larva, um, just to entice the fish a little bit more. But it's not necessary. You can catch fish without jigs or without uh, having live bait on the hook. The jig is, is enough. Um, so this alone will get you fish. Now, on top of that, I have a safety pin in here that I've put together with hooks and, oops, a couple of my treble hooks just fell off, with hooks and a couple of marabou jigs in there. And these treble hooks, they will not fit on the safety pin, they're kind of just jumbled up in there. But treble hooks will catch bigger fish like carp. And the smaller fish are for everything from panfish to bass. And uh, so these hooks will stay in my container here. And that's where they'll stay safe. These, these marabou jigs are a little bit heavier than this. They uh, still go for the same kind of fish, panfish. I've got bass on these. Um, they're they're uh, Beautiful jigs. I catch panfish, bass, all kinds of things on those. And uh, the next thing that I would recommend in a fishing kit, a small uh, packable fishing kit, is 25 pound fishing line. Now, this could go on to the reel if I run out, but 25 pound fishing line is way more strength uh, and a harder diameter than I need on here. This would be something that I would use for a uh, limb line or a trot line or in some cases 
a bushcraft fishing trap. So what I showed you really isn't going to cost very much. It's, uh, you know, the jigs you can get at the store or you can get custom made like I have. Um, the fishing pole is only about $20-ish. Um, and it's going to be pretty durable to last, uh, hopefully, through the, the emergency. You have more questions or you want to talk about this, please get social with us. You can hit the subscribe button. I think it's over there. <laughs> leave us a comment down here or you can leave us a comment on the link to this video on our Facebook page. And as always, have a good one.